What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Swarm, Swarm's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at Fans Toys Grenader, which is their uh, representation of G1 Insecticon Bombshell, and he's great, and we're going to look at the different colors and see how it, uh, it affects anyone's opinion or what have you, but he does come with a fair amount of accessories. These are um, like a more G1, I think, uh, insect leg, and you would just take off the others and then add these on uh it, this is not something that i need in my life um but if it's something that you need in yours uh good news the option is available to you it was a, it was a smart and thoughtful kind of accessory to include but not necessary for me he also comes with three energon cubes little smaller units uh they are quite small uh you know the problem is is you had to kind of really work as hand in order to uh, make him hold it because it's just, you know, there you go. So you can do that. Three of them, they're translucent, they're like a purple plastic, they're fine. And then if you're the type of person that needs a G1-esque uh, transparent cover, if you are that guy, they have thought about you and included it. So that's fine. And... They have this chrome weapon, very G1. Looks good, chrome finish. Let's see if they've learned from previous mistakes in terms of tolerance. Better if you see if I actually see what I'm doing. And it seems as though they have. That's pretty much a picture perfect fit. So cheers to them for that, well done. That's an improvement for them because usually they, they have a way of, of botching that up. Now, it did chip mine. <laughs> it did chip mine, so that's unfortunate. Um, but whatever, still fine. And let's talk about the figure himself. The head is on a ball joint, limited down because of the sculpt. Pretty uh, limited up to, let's be honest. Uh, good side to side. However, there is like a bit of a... Like, this is, feels good, but then, like, you see, like, that's loose. There's, like, a little space of poor tolerance in there, but for the most part, it's good to go. Red paint on the eyes looks great. Uh, this little unit up here is on a hinge. That works fine. Uh, sculpt and all that stuff looks outstanding. The face sculpt and all that, it looks spot on. Shoulders are on a hinge here, so you get up and down to there. Then they're on a separate hinge here, so you can get all the way out to there. Uh, the whole base unit swivels around, and then the bicep swivels as well, but it has the squeaks. The fans toy squeaks, so that's there. Just be mindful of it. It can potentially snap. That's plastic on plastic. It's not good. Double jointed elbow. Get you everything you could want there. And a wrist swivel. Knuckles on a base pin at the knuckle. Knuckles on a pin at the base knuckle, which is good. So that's all cool. Little spot of purple paint there. Looks good. The rest of it's just kind of a black, but it has like a, sh like a, it see it's hard to explain, but it, it almost looks like it has a finish to it, but I'm, I might be wrong. The rest of them most certainly does. This silver here, as, long, as well as the purple on the other one, has a, a finished paint on it, as does the yellow, and it looks great. It really, I mean, the purple one probably even better. I mean, it's top shelf, no doubt about it. And uh, same on the other side, articulation-wise. Does have a bit of a backpack, um, these legs and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't bother me. Maybe it bothers you. If it does, um, it's there, so be mindful. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. Now, this one, as you can see, works just fine. The reason why that works just fine is because I loosened up the screws on the back, and now it works perfectly. I think I showed this in the final thoughts. I had to kind of review this backward, but uh, this one, as you can see, he's not budging. 
Um, so, a little bit of do-it-yourself there, whatever. It, now that I've done that, not an issue. So, no complaints, really. It should be fixed, but whatever. Friction universals for the hips with this silver finish on the hips and thighs. The underneath thigh is like a, just a plastic, I guess, because they didn't want any joint rub. Which is smart, but it just doesn't look great um, in that in that regard. But uh, the universal works just fine. Gets you all the way up to there, all the way out to there. So no worries. Thigh swivel just at the bottom of the universal joint. Double jointed knee, which is a little tricky, um, but gets you anything you could possibly want. And uh, the ankles are some die cast. Like I think this piece is die cast here. This whole bottom piece for a tilt. I mean for a rocker and a tilt. So. Articulation is, is pretty perfect, I might say. Now let's get them transformed. So, what you want to do is open these up here and just try to get them out of the way. Uh, open up this chest piece here. Make sure that this top piece here is down flat. Now this is the only part that sometimes gives me some, some grief. But uh, these two pieces here, you kind of got to split them and get them out to the side. This gives the clearance for this to come all the way around. These can then push back together and lock that in place and then that secures it as well. That's the hardest part of it and that's done. Uh, actually, I might have spoke too soon because this here, you kind of have to use that bar as leverage um, to get this this hand piece around. Actually, this one moves better than my, my gray one. Um, then line these up. Make sure the hands are with the back of the hand facing you. Plug them together down there. And then just kind of straighten everything. And you'll clean this all up in a bit. So then the legs. Uh, just pull this whole assembly out to the side. Rotate these up. Assembly out to the side. Rotate up. Toes down. Heels up. Toes down. Heels up. And then rotate like 180, I guess. Rotate at the, at the bottom hinge here. Pull this all the way around. And you'll get to about here. Now, this all collapse. It does. It does take a little bit of elbow grease um, because you had to plug into the sides there. Um, but don't be afraid. Um, just get her done. It's fine. Uh, that's pretty much it. Bring these arms back down, plug those in, and easy for me to say. My camera battery is about to die, so that's why I'm being a little hasty. But these bits here plug into the side. There. Good night. There. And then straighten your legs out. Make sure all that's nice and tight. And we're good to go. Straighten your legs out. Adjust them as need be. There's one bug. There's the other. Lastly, it should be mentioned that uh, this weapon can store in bug mode. Now, I don't know how easy or difficult this is going to be. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be too bad. So, put it like a, Does it go like that? I think so. Yeah. Then you get a little, <laughs> stinger, a little stinger out of the back side of that unit. Um, you know, totally up to you. Not my thing, but they, they thought of you. So here they are. 
and articulation wise, we'll take a look at this guy now, I like to switch it up. So the front legs rotate here on a swivel, here on a swivel, here on a hinge, and then here on a hinge. Middle legs, swivel, hinge. Rear legs, swivel, another little squeak there, hinge, hinge. And the front bit is chrome, and you get the swivel here, as well as a hinge here and hinge there. So, pretty top shelf. Also, most of them seem to have come with these QC pass stickers. Um, they're not the easiest to remove. I mean, whatever. I, I, I guess. I get it, you know. But it just, you know, it just seems like an oversight. I mean, obviously, because it is an oversight. But, you know, I don't know. Just seems like a bootleg operator. What kind of operation are you guys running? You know, that's kind of what I what I get from it. But um, easy enough to to get the main part of the sticker off, just so you get any gooey residue, so to speak. Um, then that could be an issue. Uh, real quick, just a uh, size comparison wise, there he is with uh, G1 bombshell. Um, this is my G1 seen better days, obviously, but you know. Not too bad for 30 some years, I guess. But I think it's pretty, it's a pretty faithful, pretty accurate, and pretty cool rep modern day representation. I'm very happy. And I'm putting, I'm putting this up here now. Maybe that'll be there forever. And I think somebody asked me to, to do a size comparison with a car. So, just about the size of an MP car. Pretty impressive. Not for nothing. And real quick, in terms of what color you like in these, in these bug modes, you know, it really comes down to. To, to what you want. I expected to like this better, and I, I kind of ended up liking this better, but, um, you know, ex expectations are different, and everybody's tastes are different, and, you know, everybody looks for different things in different situations, like... This is good. I like this. This is my kind of vacation. No sun, no nonsense, no heat. It's cold. It's raining. I just want to go home. Stop crying, it's a good time. It's just a little hurricane, never hurt anybody. Size comparison wise, there he is with this G1. And an MP Seeker. So, that feels about right to me. Just for good measure, there's an MP car. That all feels appropriate to me. Final thoughts wise, let's talk about the bad. Still having a hard time hitting that sweet spot. We hit it most of the time here, but we still have a couple issues, mainly in the bicep swivel and in the waist swivel. Let's see if I remember. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually I'm shooting this part last so you can see. I've already loosened this guy's, but this guy's is not loosened and it doesn't move. So that's that's the issue. And then you know you loosen up with a screwdriver and you're good to go, but you shouldn't have that issue to begin with. The, it's just it's just too tight. Now it's just a quarter turn of a screwdriver, maybe less than that, loosens it right up, but it's a premium product that should be squared away. Outside of that no real complaints. He's got a bit of a backpack. Doesn't bother me. Maybe it bothers you. Whatever. It's there. Either you like it or you don't, or you can accept it or you don't. And that's the end of that. But outside of that, this guy's pretty close to perfect. Most of the paint is baked on or has a metallic finish. Looks great. The articulation is there. The transformation is intuitive. It's fun. It works well. It's successful. The materials and all that kind of stuff, it feels like a masterpiece. It feels like a masterpiece. And that's not always the case. I highly recommend it. I, I don't have any real complaints that are worth anything. Just that, you know, the, the bicep swivels are a little too tight. It's what it ends up coming down to. Everything else can be fixed or overlooked. As far as color, that's kind of a personal thing. I had to get both because I just wasn't sure. Um, having them both in hand, this is hard to explain. But it's the best way I know how. The purple looks better, the gray feels better. It comes down to cartoon accuracy. If, if you're a sucker for it, you need that gray, and the gray works really well. If you're not hung up on cartoon accuracy, you'll probably enjoy the silver better, I mean the purple better. So that's, that's how it goes. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.